Hi guys and welcome back to my course. In this video, we will learn about a new array function called filter. Filter function, it reads through the array to create a new array. You can decide which elements should be added in the new array based on certain conditions. So this is the syntax for the filter function. So array.filter and it accepts a callback function and inside that callback function, based on certain conditions, you either return true or false. And true tells the function to add the element in the new array and false tells the function to skip the element. Let's try it with an example to understand it better. So we have this number array. So num array dot filter. It accepts a callback function. And this filter it passes the current element to the callback function. So we can simply write it like this because it's a single argument. So let's try printing it. So as you can see, one, two, three, four till seven is printed in our console. Let's create a result array. Let's try printing that as well. So as you can see, the result array is empty right now. All right. So if you remember, I mentioned we return true or false, which decides whether this element needs to get added or not. So if I return true from here, so all the elements get added to the result array. Or if I return false, none of the elements get added to the result array. So let's say we need an array with only even numbers, or we want to filter out even numbers from this num array. So what we can do is we can put a condition here, say item mod by two triple equals to zero. So this is a condition to check whether the number is even or not. If the number is even, it will return true. And if the number is not even, it will return false. So as you can see, we get two, four, and six in our array. Similarly, say we wanted all the odd numbers, so we could just change our condition. And we get one, three, five, and seven in the result array. So that's how you can use this filter to filter through your array and create new arrays. Similarly, say we have this pilots array, and inside that, we've got some objects. And inside the objects, we've got this experience field. So let's say we wanted all the pilots with experience equal to or more than 10. So let's give that a try. So instead of this num array, we we'll use the first array. So if I try printing the current items, it will print these objects. And to access the experience, you can simply do dot experience. It prints in 5, 20, and 12. Now in this return statement, we can put a condition. So item.experience greater than or equal to 10, then we return true. And as you can see, we get three elements in our array. So we got with experience 10, 20, and 12. So the second one was skipped. Similarly, say we wanted all the pilots with experience less than 10, we can simply do like this and we get one element in an array, which was the second one and experience five. So that's how we can use this filter function. And that's all for today. I hope this gave you a better understanding of how to work with filter. But if you have any doubts or queries, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to me on Twitter. I'll add my Twitter handle in the description below. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.